So anytime that I blanch any kind of vegetable, I've always taken the water and let it cool. Um, if we can't use it for like a stock or anything, I like to cool it and give it to the chickens or other animals so they get the benefits of it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this in the freezer and head back outside and see what's going on. All right, so we're finally finishing the goat fence. Um, I'll explain what happened to that here in a minute. Here's our makeshift spooler. Got tired of trying to get that thing set up right, so hey, saw this chair laying there. It's working out great. So they're down there fixing that part, running it on over there up to there so we've got this section done this gate this section done and this gate so we should have the goats in not tomorrow but the next day we're bringing them uh, we still got a shelter to build for them sorry there my neighbor's dog is barking but um yeah, we're just getting it done. We've had a couple beautiful days, so um, we run out of the daylight. Yesterday, we went and got the stuff to do it and run out of daylight, so we're just wrapping it up today. Tell us what happened to the pasture behind us. <laughs> Hold on, let me blow it back in. Alright, tell us what happened to the pasture behind us. My wife don't listen to directions. <laughs> so, we were cleaning the fence to put the goats in there. Putting up the fence. We actually got all of those posts in. It was coming down through here and we were cleaning a bunch of brush right here. Nope, down here. Yeah, at the corner. And just had to clean that little section off the fence. I was working on it she says, won't you just burn it? I said, it ain't gonna burn, it's gotta be packed tight. And I pulled vines off and I laid them down there at the end of that tin. I turned around snipping vines and next thing I know she had lit her off. <laughs> so, I was surprised. I didn't think it was gonna burn. Um, for one, I didn't think it was going to burn, but not only did it burn, but it caught like really fast, like all this grass up through here. There was three wood piles here. Um, this one particularly we were going to use to build our goat barn. And let me zoom out here. And you can see what's left nothing this is like lumber that Josh's papa grandpa had um cut had saw milled it was beautiful wood but it burned and i've got some footage of that i'm going to insert here so you can see um luckily he's a wildland firefighter and a regular firefighter as well so we bring a fire truck here um and we went ahead and burned the entire like triangle area because it was really really thick with brush and stuff and now we can get in here and like really clean it up um and since a lot of it is gone um we can get in here and clean it up really nice and um ultimately the ash the fire is good for the soil so we'll have some really nice pretty grass hopefully come springtime um, we are going to turn the goats in here once we get all this moved and the fence um, finished cleaning off and put up. We're just going to open up this section right here into this. So this will all be one enjoined um, pasture eventually. So, But um, I'll go ahead and show you that footage so you can look at some of the pictures and video I took. And... Um, yeah, it's sad. It's sad that we lost our wood. The biggest part was that we salvaged just a little bit of it. 
right there, but um, none of the nice like 12 inch boards. Um, couldn't save none of those, but um, yeah, that's what happened. And um, here's the footage. I'm standing under their makeshift barn. I'm sta we're standing under their makeshift barn. We're gonna build something a little bit better. We're gonna put carpet in this and then a better roof. But for now, it's good. I'm just excited that they're finally here. I'm so excited to have goats again. So let's take a look and meet our new farm animals. In here. Are you trying to peek around? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get them out. Of course, I don't have an umbrella. Can I walk down there? Because we're in a new place, they decide to jump. Yep. Yep. It's all right, John. Don't be scared. Mama, I'm not going to let nothing happen to you. Go ahead, Hoppy. Come on, little lady. How are there you going? <laughs> Plugged up. Good day. Now, what we've been, the mixture I've been a feed on is I get sunflower seeds, oats, and I'll get the um, that commodity feed down at Roll King. And we'll get some alfalfa pellets and mix it all together. Now you know one good sign that to know that she'll be. Well, since it's raining, can't really go out there, but can't get the camera wet. But there they are. So excited to finally have them here. And they said that one of them could be ready to drop any day now. So that's exciting too. Gotta put some more stuff on this makeshift barn shelter. So when they have their babies, they have somewhere warm to go. Haven't been too cold here, but you never know. So we got two Nubian, or no, two Nigerian dwarfs, and then he is a Nubian. Um, I think she said he was mixed with something else, but that is them. All the kids went inside because it's very wet and rainy, but I'm sure we're going to be keeping an eye on them and coming out here and seeing them all day long. Oh, oh, oh. She said, hey. Plugged up, but I ain't nope. Hey there! What you doing? Uh oh! You run them all. They're like, hey, where are you going? You're leaving us here. You bringing that feed down here?
they go this one spot? No. I've been cut off. Ooh, I stepped out of one burn. <clears throat> Yo, mice. I'm sorry this video is so choppy. It has been horrible with rain. We have not been outside doing much of anything other than just normal chores and getting this fence up. So um, I didn't have a whole lot of filming uh, during this time because we were just so crunched with Christmas and everything and they were bringing these goats and we had obstacles we faced so we had to get it done. So we're continuing to work on the goat barn. Um, this was a couple days later and um, just kind of securing it a little bit more until we do get what we want forever or a more permanent structure up there. But in the meantime, we are just waiting on those babies to come and so excited and everything is ready and in place for them. So we have nothing to worry about there. Um, we want to thank you guys for following us. We're trying to be more diligent about putting new videos out in the coming year. And that's one of our 2020 goals on the homestead. So um, just join us for the journey. And thank you and God bless.